Let's have a look at Little Monkey Apps and Alliance. It's a free app. And of course you've got the option to remove the ads. Uh, similarly to many of other of the Little Monkey Apps, um, there's a teaching tool and then some activities that are more specific. All right, let's have a look at the teaching tool. Nice little frog noise. Um, initially you might be quite confused about what to do here. Um, of course you can go back to the start and have a little look at the teaching notes there. Um, cute little frog noise. Um, as a teacher I, I, would, I would ask students to put maybe put the red frog on the five, put the yellow frog on the one and put the blue frog on the fifteen just to introduce um, what a number line is. Number lines um, are continuous. Um, you might even ask what would happen if the frog was to make a jump this way off, off the iPad um, 16. Um, you might start, um, of course I could press that, that would be easier. Um, you could even ask, put the blue frog number five, make him jump um, two spaces forward. And of course with number lines, um, the concept of forward is often new to young students. We know straight away that forward means that way, um, but some students often make him jump that way. So you can talk about jumping towards the right. You might even put um, a little symbol. You might say that one's plus and that one's minus, um, just to help students. So five plus three is one, two, three jumps. Um, five take away two is jumping backwards um, two little jumps um, the pencil is also useful if you're talking about skip counting so start at one and count by twos when we call it skip counting often young students let's just move the frog out of the way um, young students um, say well if I was starting at at zero, start here, at zero, and I'm skip counting, I'm going to go two, four, six, eight. They see that as skipping one number because there's only one number that hasn't been touched, but you're actually um, stepping. So I often call it step counting. So six, seven, eight. So you're stepping up by two every time. 10, 12, 14. Um, you can of course um, talk about with other students who are more advanced that if we count by twos, put a little frog above him and we could make uh, this little frog count by fours. Looking at the patterns you could make, let's just put that there so counting by fives looks Count by fives, five, ten, and talk about the relationships there. Right, let's go back to home. Um, we've got uh, skip counting here. Oh, this one's practice. Now, the aim of this is to show that counting by twos follows that leap. And for oral counting, so you're asking a student to say the numbers as you land on them. Notice that um, there's no um, voiceovers in this um, because you want the student to say it themselves. You don't want it done for them. Um, saying things out loud, rote practice actually do help it to sink in. And of course there's threes, fours and fives there. So little froggy jumps, his little tongue comes out <laughs> every now and then. Um, so you're asking the student to say 5, 10, 15. In the classroom you might have a number line like this, um, whether it's to 15 or to 50, um, and ask the students to actually step it out or to be little frogs and to jump by. Fives might prove a challenge if you uh, have big numbers, but you could do that by threes or twos. So this is practicing um, early rote multiplication. Um, and of course test is a little bit more challenging. You'll notice that the frog doesn't start on zero, he started on a different number. He's actually started on three and we want to jump by fours this time. So we've said jump to get over that, that step or skip counting um, problem. So you're going to make 
you're going to jump by four so you're going to make one two three four and then he goes green one two three four oh i made him jump a little bit too far there we go eleven one two three four so so until we've made all the jumps possible now it doesn't make that noise um, Here we go, making him jump. And jumping by three. So this time he has actually started on zero. Um, it's important that students can um, make these jumps. Um, and that, that links to addition. All right, so that was skip counting test. Um, let's have a look at sequencing. This is probably the activity that I would begin with. Um, complete the number line. Um, remembering that Little Monkey Apps doesn't have voiceovers. That's because they are created to be used in conjunction with the teacher and the teaching um, tool rather than um, used independently. Of course this can be used independently after a child has been physically taught what a number line is. This one's a little bit more challenging. Okay, so he didn't go straight on the number one. He actually needs to sit there properly. Can I get him in the right spot? What's wrong with him? Oh, that's right. I got it wrong. <laughs> Silly me thinking I had a little problem with my app. So he doesn't just lock in, you actually have to get him exactly on the right spot. Thought I got it wrong again then. <laughs> um, so that's sequencing. Uh, here I jump forwards and jump backwards. Let's have a look at forwards. Okay. <coughs> Starting at eight, plus five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there we go. Almost took him too far. One plus 13. Some students might go straight there. Um, or they might physically need to jump one, two, three. This is something you can also do in your classroom with that number line, uh, physically acting it out. And let's have a quick look at jump backwards. 14, take away four. One, two, three, four. Getting to land there, of course. Other problems as well. So that was Little Monkey Apps. Number lines. Don't forget teaching notes here about what you can ask in the classroom or at your at home. Link to the Little Monkey Apps website. Don't forget you can remove ads for a fee.